hello everyone today we are going to see the functionalities of sales agreement and account based forecast in manufacturing cloud to start off with we have created an account name demo account in our system and a few opportunities onto it so when we go to our opportunities this is the view we get and we have added some products on to it in manufacturing cloud we get an functionality to create a sales agreement for our opportunity so when we create an sales agreement for our opportunity this is the view we get we get the basic details regarding our sales agreement that what are the customer we are creating the sales agreement for what is the start date of this agreement what is the schedule for this agreement and when we are supposed to end after how many schedules do we are we supposed to end this agreement coming to the main part of the sales agreement this gives us view two dimension two di two dimensional view of our sales agreement that is product and product schedules what we can see here is we can track key metrics related to that account and our opportunity over here we have planned quantity which would be our opportunities uh, previously planned quantity we have actual quantity this is the quantity this is the actual order quantity that your customer will be placing if your customer is placing an order for 40 units that would be available over here and the shortfall will then reduce to 27 quantities as per our current uh, data with sales agreement we you can even track some custom metrics that you want to track over here and this is the forecast quantity that you get in hand when you convert an opportunity into an sales agreement this could be the value that your production engineers can use to forecast what are the uh, quantity of units that they need to produce or you can use it what is the quantity of uh, number of products that you need to ship ship and in which schedule so that your uh, resources stay in place uh, this is all about our uh, sales agreement going back to our account based forecasting when we come back to our account which is the demo account in our forecast tab we get uh, we get details of our forecast in this way so this is the opportunity quantity we have the tot it will come it will give us a cumulative number of uh, products for all the opportunities that are currently in place for this account and their schedules like we have placed an eight we have placed an order for 800 of this product into this month what is the sales agreement plan quantity for this product and even we can forecast using uh, last year orders quantity this would be helpful when we are forecasting for a product which has a seasonal demand current orders quantity if your customer is placing an order for say x number of products it would be appearing over here all the orders placed for this product would be uh, accumulated over here like customer is placing 10 orders for four quantity each it would be coming as uh, 40 over here and whoever is managing the personas or production do not have to go and check for each order again and again you get a centralized view over here and what would be the remaining forecasted quantity after all the 
all the products like uh, considering all the opportunity sales agreement and other products and finally we get our main value that is a forecasted quantity this is the formulated value which depends upon opportunity quantity sales agreement and also it takes into consideration like the account growth for this account like you can give some percentages over here based upon this percentages like market growth market is growing with 30 percent but the account is going with 30 percent based upon these values it will change your forecast quantity this forecast quantity can be used in many various ways such as to plan your production to plan your shipments to get a view of uh, what would be our uh, expected revenue or this could be even uh, your quantity that you can upsell to your customer with this account based forecast you get uh, a various views like we have quantity view over here and we can get revenue view as well this could be helpful to your finance personas the quantity metrics that we see can be useful to your production or uh, shipment engineers so they can forecast uh, previously that what quantity they have to produce or ship and other functionalities that we get is you can must update the values over here you can add other products as well you can change the growth of this account like account could grow more than the market is growing and it will take into consideration that amount and it will give you results based on that and other related functionalities related to account based forecast this was all about account based forecast thank you